Okay. You guys can see that, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So what what's going on here, Eli? Um, okay, so this one's about how disorganized I am. Okay. Yeah, so it's kind of like, it doesn't really follow much of the story, but it's more like a stream of consciousness. I could deal with that sometime, let's see. Yeah. I think you could give me more of a payoff in the last panel. Mm -hmm. um, the la I think the drawings are cool. Yeah. The only thing I would say, like, well, one of the things I would say is, this, this shape, even this mm -hmm. one a little, this one a little, or a lot actually, this size and this size, if you look at all these, they're very similar. Do you see that? That's true, yeah. And then you're repeating this sort of bar shape in here. Mm hmm Okay. And I don't know if I really mind that so much. I'm more concerned with the, um, <clears throat> you know, maybe this one. I think maybe, okay, so like let's say this, paper, old sketchbooks, and if you're gonna say it's a stream of consciousness thing, why couldn't this, so this is all stuff behind her that's like um, stuff, right? Yeah. So why couldn't she be up here maybe? And I'm just, I'm drawing over it, I know, but let's say uh -huh. maybe she's up here. Let's start all over. Maybe she's up here in the panel. <laughs> You know, maybe your arms are around her knees. Obviously, I'm just riffing here, okay? Mm -hmm. And then maybe all this stuff is a big pile of stuff. I don't know if I told you guys this. I love drawing piles of stuff. You know, old sketchbooks. And I like to put silly mm -hmm. stuff in there, you know, just here and there. You don't have to draw everything realistically or whatever. I'll give you an example. I did one of Todd. This is Hoarder. And uh, maybe she's talking from here. Oh. Okay, and then maybe you have your panel here, you know, and this could be a big thing eating up your page. So it goes from this panel over to this panel, and you know, down to whatever you're saying down here in an interesting way. And this is your big, does this make sense how I'm drawing it? Yeah, I get it. So here's her on, you know, so however you want to, you know, mm -hmm. put her, okay? Yeah, idea, it's interesting. Okay, and you know, and then you can have, you can really make that statement of stuff. You know, mm -hmm. maybe there's a, I don't know. But anyway, something like that. Let's turn this back on again. So then you have that here. Mm -hmm. and that's sort of a thing that's happening right here. You could still have this one here, which I think would be cool. And then yeah. even this, I even like this now, because now you have this sweep that does right to her. Yeah. You see that? Mm -hmm. And then here, these two, you got to switch these two up just because they're the exact same height, shape, everything, right? Yeah. And then, you know, and then you say the next thing you know, like, and it looks like you did that. You put some sparkles and things like that in it. Um, I would do, I wouldn't have her with these bags. I'd have her in some, I'd really push the idea of organization and clean and, you know, cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then really push this back to here. <clears throat> you know, and you can make it ridiculous. I mean, I, if I was doing this, I'd make it ridiculous. And I don't know exactly how I would do it yet. <clears throat> but, you know, I, I have this, when I think of like people hoarding, I think of hoard pile, okay? Right. And that's just me. It doesn't mean you have to think that way. But let's say that I go, that now we go to an exterior shot you know, on that bottom panel. And again, maybe this does the same thing. Maybe you got her up here in this nice area and then her, and then the next, okay, so this is the top panel, right? Mm -hmm. Her in her nice clean environment or whatever. And then I have the house, like the nice little, cool little house. 
And again, now that hoard pile thing has gone out through the roof and broken through the roof and she's still sitting up here and she <laughs> says, it just ends up back where it started. Does that oh, make sense? Okay. Yeah. Okay, you know, put a little, and this is all like really idyllic, you know, suburbia, you know, but there's this big, and then, you know, you got to have some of the, what do you call it? The shingles kind of broken. And again, this is just an idea. I'm not saying do this, but I'm just trying to get mm -hmm. you, what I'm really trying to do is get your head rolling on how to push it. Does that yeah. make sense? Because yeah, this I don't is all want... about pushing it, okay? Mm -hmm. If you were submitting this to, um, and then I might, I did this with Todd also, because I always draw Todd because he's a hoarder, right? Mm -hmm. I might have her sitting up now, again, talking to the viewer from up here again, mm -hmm. only maybe now she also has her dog sitting next to her. I like dogs, so I always put dogs in everything. Mm -hmm. okay? But that's, a, again, up to you, right? Right. But I like the idea. I just think that everything when you're telling a story, it's got to have a payoff, okay? Right. And this could just be a fun little visual payoff. And what mm -hmm. you're doing yeah. is you're echoing back from this horde pile idea back to this horde pile idea again up here. Mm -hmm. okay? And again, I like this sweep right here. Does that all make sense? Yeah. Okay. Comments? Questions? You okay? Uh, I like the drawing. I think you're... Um, the rough mm -hmm. is really nice. Thank you. Uh, that's, that's, look how clear that is, by the way, everybody. Nice and clear. Okay. Hey, Mike. Yeah. Did my I don't know if my because I can't see my file because I up tried to upload my thing into the folder and I can't see it, so I don't know if it uploaded or not. Wait till I get to it and then I'll see. Okay. Uh, Thank you. I don't. I downloaded everything up until now. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I, I tried to upload it earlier, but what is I don't it? know. Is it a JPEG? Uh, let me see. <laughs> I, no, it's a PDF. Oh. Is it? No, I haven't gotten it yet. I would just upload it as a JPEG. Okay. And it's to the um, the new one that you linked to, right? Like today, like the folder. Yeah, yeah, the new folder that I linked to today. I was like, okay, mine, to I just uploaded mine, and then I think his is uploaded in there. Okay, there's okay. a PDF that says scan documents in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what it's called. Okay, they're there. Hang on. Okay, cool. Thank you. Sorry. Okay, I'm downloading both. Okay. Let's go back to wherever I am. This is why I like to get them in ahead of time, so I can just have them all lined up. Yeah, I, I uploaded it. I tried to upload it earlier, but it didn't like it wasn't saying it was going in it, which was weird because it didn't do that the last two times that I did it. So I don't know. It's weird. Okay, the um, who has the Beatles one? That's me. Okay, so you kind of pushed it a little bit, right? Yeah. One thing I liked <clears throat> about the last. Well, let me see if we got it here. <clears throat> I have to get all these back into my, I have a thing set up. Naomi. Yes. Did you get yours uploaded? Yes, I did. Okay, good. And so I already have it, right? It should be, yeah. There's like three pictures. Okay, like the la oh, I have, I have one. Right, anyway, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, let me just think, all these covers my tabs here. Okay, so let's get that one. Okay. that up. Okay. okay. Let's pull this over here. Oh, that one's big. Okay. Okay, so here's one. That's that one. Yeah, I think we have another one, right? Yeah, there was two. Oh, 
Are they different? Are they very similar? Uh, did I do the same? Yeah, let's take you to the same one. Oh, really? I can try. Okay. Um, but on this one, now we've changed it a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. There was something about the last one. So in this one, John, George, and Pete look a little cockier. Yeah. Right? Is that the intention? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. I like that you're looking at him. I'm wondering if, and I've been thinking about this, if if he is, come on, if he is, you, I think you had him before doing it. You know, or maybe that first shot. And I don't know if he's sort of looking at them, you know, annoyed. He's big. Okay, one thing it's sort of a, because this guy would be a record guy, right? Mm-hmm. You know, very 60s, very buttoned up, very structured suit. Maybe some paperwork. Because they're supposed to sign a contract, correct? Yes. You no. Know, he's got his pen. He's got his executive name thing. He's got mm -hmm. his other hand here on the table. Maybe he's got his hands crossed over each other like that. Mm. Okay. They, these guys, it, the Beatles always talked about this. Even when they went to the recording studio, these guys were dressed like um, scientists. Mm -hmm. They had white shirts. On. They had like white lab coats on and ties and starched white shirts and they were definitely the adult in the room. Okay. Yeah. The Beatles were the, when they came in, they were like, all right, down there, uh, by lunch we're gonna have three songs, and then you're gonna come back in, you can go have a pint, you can go have something to eat, and then you come back on, we'll cut two more songs. I mean, they put these things in like they cut a record in like a day. In a day, yeah, literally. It's literally a day. Okay, so then you know, very buttoned up. I might make them a little heavier to give them some age. I'd make him look very British, very old school British, you know, but the thing is, is that maybe it's all, you know, one of the power trips on here is the big desk that you're mm -hmm. sitting behind or you're sitting, what a lot of people like to do, and this is interesting, I just heard this last night, the power move with a lot of people is they have their desk up higher or they have their chair up higher, mm -hmm. they have their desk, and then you're sitting in a low chair. Yeah. It, it's a power move, right? <clears throat> and somebody was just saying yesterday, I was watching something yesterday, and they were talking about meeting Walt Disney. He did the opposite. He had his chair <laughs> sitting really low because he didn't want to make you feel like that. Yeah. I said it was, oh, it was uh, Peter Ellenshaw, I think. He was a monster designer. Um, he came in, he goes, it was super weird. It actually felt weird because, like, he was really low. Mm. You know what I mean? So he reversed the power move. Yeah. Which I thought That's was kind of cool. interesting. Yeah. You know, so maybe it's that kind of thing. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Now that, again, all these things I'm doing, I'm just suggesting, I'm not saying do this. I'm just trying to get to where, here's what I'm trying to get to, where this dynamic is definitely the power dynamic. This guy, mm -hmm. this big hulking guy and a table, you know? And were they cocky about this? Yeah. Oh, they were? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, he sort you know, you got this sort of triangular thing. Um, and then, you know, yes, you could have them here like that probably. Or I play running with that. I don't know, them looking straight forward is probably fine. Because I like that you break it here where you don't have a panel here. I like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what's the, where's the second page? Is that the one you were going to upload? Yeah, I just sent it. I don't know if it got okay. in, but it should be in there now. Megan, I love your style, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, my God. More of that, by the way. More compliments. I like that. Yeah, it's nice really, ones. like, it's, like, interesting because it's very readable, even with being, like, kind of sketchy. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's it. So. That's exactly it. When you show stuff at a, um, I'm not saying spend a bunch of time on it, but what you just said is important. Mm -hmm. Get your thumbnailing style together, right? Or just your thumbnailing um, readability. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. If somebody can't read your stuff, you're dead in the water. If you mm -hmm. have to sit there and, and they go, well, what's going on here? Okay. I don't, I don't, okay. Why is there a house back? I don't understand. <laughs> you're kind of dead in the water. You know what I mean? Cause you're going to go, eh. cause I've done that before where I go, I don't want to figure this out, man. You know what I mean? I don't know if mm -hmm. it's a good idea. I don't know if it's a bad idea, but I don't want to sit here and spend three hours figuring out your idea. And it's not grabbing me. It should be like grabbing me, making me go, hey, that's funny or whatever, right? Okay, so anyway, that sort of power dynamic, I think that's important. Okay. Because yeah, he's the, you got to remember, like what, as far as I know, what they did is they changed that, they turned that dynamic upside down where they turned the studio into another instrument. Yeah. And you have to create all this, like all that psychedelic stuff because they sort of took over the studio and they were like, all right, whatever, mm -hmm. you guys are the biggest thing in the world, the hell with it. You know yeah. what I mean? You're making us all a ton of money. We don't care. Um, okay, and then I should have the second sheet. The second, it's just, I didn't rename it, so it's just like IMG 2489. Somebody's got a kid. <laughs> okay, I found it. Okay. That's better. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. I love this. I love this little. Um, Those bottom two panels are legit. They're just like, <laughs> I just, it's, I can't. It's just such what? a different sketch style. Thank you. Thumbnailing is my favorite part. I think. I know. I love fun. it too. Uh, I could just do that and I'd be fine. Well, there is sort of things you can do that with. One of the things you get your drawing skills really well, really put together. And I'm sure they're still doing this because I know some people still do it and you have to look into it now. Um, there's people work for agencies and stuff like that. And they just sit there and they draw out comps. You know what I mean? Oh, like right. elaborate comps for all sorts of posters and just all sorts of stuff. I actually apply, or I, I went and talked to a company years and years ago. They were like a production company of some kind. They were over on Wilshire. God, is this thing already going to kick me off of here? We haven't been on here 40 minutes, have we? Okay, no, I, I so. drill. Okay, I don't know if I told you this. Is, I already put in for all this thing. I may, I did a follow-up email today. I'm waiting for this stupid thing to come and give me the thing that stops this. Okay? So everybody jump back into the room if it kicks you off. It usually kicks me off, and then I have to jump back in. Okay? You have 10 minutes. I know, but that's just annoying. Yeah. All right, let me get back. Okay, so which one are you talking about, Taylor? What panel? This I one just the, the bottom right one of the guy that says, oh. but very clean. It's just a nice, like, I like the turtleneck and the, I just think it reads like very, I just like yeah. that. I agree. Out. Yeah. But what I was going to say real quick is the guy, I went over there, I went into the agency. It wasn't my thing. Okay. I don't usually, I didn't back then. I just usually wouldn't do a test or anything, but I was like, I don't care about this job. She goes, well, we give everybody a test. I went in the back. There was a guy back there with the drafting table and I did a bunch of comps and stuff. I thought it was kind of fun. Mm -hmm. And then um, the guy who was sitting there, he goes, uh, do you do this kind of thing? And I go, no. And he goes, you should do this because you're good at it. And I go, it's not really my thing. He goes, I work six months a year and I don't work. Mm -hmm. I just go do something. You know what I mean? He goes, it's good money. And it's not mm -hmm. that it was a bad thing. It was actually cool. It just wasn't my thing. Yeah. Even though it looked really fun. I like being in charge, to be honest with you. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, this is great. I love this. I love this. This little insert. Mm -hmm. You might even, and I don't know if this is even relevant, but have you ever seen those '60s movies where they do the, um, the split like the split screen, screen? Where like some guy picks up the phone and then he goes, Whoop, and then a second, yeah. like that, and then they go, I don't know, they're talking about something, and then they reference somebody else, and, Whoop, and then that yeah, goes, yeah, and then the guys on the phone, and it's all like all of them have like a blue background and a red background and an orange. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. There's a way of doing, you know, Paul in the tub. By the way, that's starting to look like Paul. <laughs> Maybe Paul in the tub, you know, maybe there's that idea of that, you know, where this little panel is sort of like one of those old 60s movies, okay? Mm -hmm. May or may not work, because I think this works fine. 
but I'm just trying to give you other ideas, okay? I'll try. It's not even that I'm trying to give you ideas, I'm just trying, any art director is gonna work with you basically in this way, they're gonna keep pushing your ideas. Mm -hmm. okay? And collaboration, I like collaboration actually, I think it's fun. Okay. Now these two pages would read together, remember? So, and I don't think this is necessarily bad actually, I think it's fine. Always remember too, you know, you can play with these panel shapes, you know, mm. you look at some, I don't know, some kind of, um, it's going to dump me out here in a second. You know. I got six minutes. Um, look at maybe some different graphic shapes and things. Maybe, I'm not saying, and it might be overkill, I don't know. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and, but I'm just talking about little simple things that kind of speak to the 60s, not, not like in a big, giant, overblown way. Yeah. Okay. But I think these are great. And I agree with Taylor, that, that, you know, your sketching style is great. What's your major? Advertising and graphic design. What is it? Advertising and graphic design. Okay. Man, advertising, I don't know how you define that anymore. It's all over the place. No, uh -huh. but you know, Actually, maybe that probably maybe can make it interesting, you know what I mean? Okay, so that all makes sense, correct? Yes. I know they're gonna, again, when they kick me off here, we just jump back in. Where's Kat? <laughs> Kat here? I'm here. Okay. It's gonna snow up here tonight, by the way. Spooky. I was trying to build a fire upstairs. I don't know why I could not get it lit. All right, so let's pull this down. Where's my drawing? Okay, so what are we thinking here? Um, this is this is setting up the scene for um, for the story, essentially. Which is? Which is uh, the the dead moon. Um, but it, the what it is is this moon goddess is in the she's in the moon and she looks down over this bog and then down below are the types of things that are inside the bog. So you have like goblins and other kinds of creatures like the will of the wisps like How is that personal though for for me like that is the type of um th those type of stories are what like influence my art and just like all of my creativity and everything else that i've ever done where's the second page um the second page is coming <laughs> another page here i don't have any dialogue here and I'll just speak to what I can see here. Okay. But I'd like it to be a, a little more personal story. Okay. But I mean, if you can do a spin on it, like last night, is it, everybody seen Grand Budapest Hotel? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. I thought it was a cool movie. I mean, I like his style, period. But he, um, I've got four minutes before it kicks me off. Um, obviously, he has a very personal uh, <laughs> storytelling style. Okay. Mm -hmm. And a very personal <laughs> visual style, <clears throat> but that story is based on some, I don't know, some other novel or wherever it came from, I don't really know. I just think I saw at the end that it was based on something. Well, he took that and totally made it his own, okay? And that's, I'm, I'm kind of cool with that, but I wanted to have some sort of personal connection somehow, okay? Okay. Um, but when you're doing this kind of, you know, you gotta come up with, you know, this kind of thing, we've got same shape, sort of repeating, we got two things, everything symmetrical. This is dead down the center, one, two, three, four, like that, okay? Okay. So you need to um, start figuring out, and I don't know the story, so it's hard for me to say, but, you know, maybe there's some bigger trees here. You know, I'd want to make this really interesting. Is anybody going to do vector, by the way? Huh? Uh. Vector. I thought it'd be fun. Mike, do you think that if she just like, Wait, what? the second page was like introspectively her talking about it? Yes, that could work. That's a good idea, actually. Yeah, I like that idea a lot, actually. Okay, I'm cool with that. Um, and what are these hands doing? They're, they're just like the souls of like the dead that are in that bog. Like they're- I'd make these really dramatic where they're sort of 
you know, doing this kind of this kind of thing. You know what I mean? That's okay. What I was doing. You know, maybe this one's up higher or something. Okay. Okay. You know, again, it's kind of symmetrical here. Okay. And then this one, I don't really have a problem with. Is that a monster or something? Yeah. yeah. All right. Try and do some kind of cool take on that. Okay. Make it the coronavirus. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. Good one. Everybody's got that in their brain right now. So do I. Okay. Does that all make sense? Yes. But right. get your stuff on done on time. Yes? Yes. Sorry. Okay, it's gonna kick me off here in a minute and then I will jump back in. And I'm gonna get all this set up. Naomi was giving me all her by the way, Naomi, for what I could tell from the little tiny uh whatever you call that view I could get, they looked pretty good. Anyway. Okay. I know after um after Monday, I was like thinking like after the meeting, I was like, oh man, everyone's was like really cohesive and then mine was just like really tiny. <laughs> so you just, um, yeah, I mean, that, I, I don't know. Basically the reason I couldn't see them, I don't know how big they were originally. There, it was some kind of weird file and I could hit space for and I could get a preview of them, but it was like this big. So mm -hmm. I kind of had to look at it, but they lo it looked kind of cool. It looked kind of film noirish. To me, oh, this one's a western. I can't get it. Um, when you drag these things in, I don't know if you guys know this. When you drag stuff in, into Photoshop, it rasterizes it, and you have to unrasterize it if you want to do certain things. Mm -hmm. And by the way, after I get kicked out and come back in, I, I have an idea for a project. I might change it a little bit because I've been doing this in my other classes because something happened. I thought it was kind of a cool idea. All right, Naomi. Yeah. What's going on here? So here is this the one I had originally? Yeah, that was like the, the very first thumbnails that I had. And now we've got this one. Yeah, those are the more recent ones. Let me put this out of the way. And then you've got, okay, so I've got that one. I love that you use sticky notes to like fix it. <laughs> I've seen that quite a bit, actually. I don't know who started that. Yeah, I saw it on Instagram. I kind of just stole the idea from them. Everybody's doing it. I mean, it's a good idea. Yeah. That's cool. Steven uh, Silvers was doing it. I was just going to say that. Steven mm. Silver does it a lot. I have the same one twice. Yeah. I think I have them. Do I have them all? I uploaded three. Oh. I don't know why I can't get this straight. Hang on. I was like, I think the third one's hidden back there. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. So, which one's first? Um, the cowboy one. Of course, the one I can't see. Okay, there it is. Okay, what are we saying here? Um, it was just kind of like an idea that I had in my head. You Which know, is like, like typical like Western, like trying to get on the train. What's the end goal here? Um, you know, I didn't really get that far. You have to get that far. <laughs> yes. Um. Yes. Okay. Um, you there's no. Um, so I don't have a second page here, correct? Oh no, that's the okay. The one on the top left, that's like one page, and then the one next to it is like oh, another this? page. One thing I yeah. do like a, a lot is this split panel you did right here. Right here. Let me get my brush. Okay. There. This one, where the cigarette goes into here and the smoke, that's cool. Oh yeah, that was like a, supposed to be like a huge splash page, splash page. If you could incorporate, I mean, you could do that within here, you know, you could split it here. Oh, why my computer's got super slow. There it is. You know, you could incorporate it over here somewhere. 
My computer just got super slow. Hang on. Maybe that'll help. I'm gonna get rid of my mouse. Let me get screwing me up. Oh, great, that's what I need. It's my equipment to start getting weird. There it goes. I'm gonna save it. You know what I'll do? Hang on. I'm gonna get rid of these other files. Maybe it's bogging this file down. Okay. It seems to be better. Yeah, it looks better. Okay. You got to give me a story. Okay. Okay. What was the first one? This one. What was this one? Oh. That one was um, like on the second uh, file that it uploaded. That was on there. Is this one you're still interested in or no? The cowboy one or? This one, hold this page we're looking at. Yeah, I'm still interested in that one. What's this one about? Okay, so I had this like I like this whole um, detective story idea like last year. And like, I've been kind of like building on it for a while, but I haven't. Been... The reason I like this visually is that it's just got all this like film noir ish kind of stuff going on. Yeah, exactly. That's why I wanted to. That's like why I this, like this panel right here. Now, see, this is cool too. Like, look at your thumbnails, man. You got a good design sense, okay? Like this, this like right here where you're splitting the page and you got the guy writing the thing and, you know, he's dropping back probably into shadow. This kind of thing with the light hitting there and the shadow. I mean, I can read that. Look how small that is. And I can read it. You know what I mean? And not only yeah. can I read it, I go, that's cool. I want to see that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm gravitating to, and I like this. Like that's nicely figured out. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff going on in here. I might develop this. Okay. Yeah. Right, now it's up to you if you want to do the other one, but I think that design wise, you got a lot to play with here. Yeah. I was leaning more towards the detective one and I was like thinking to myself, I was like, oh man, I really hope my picks like that one. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Because I took, I took, um, Brian's storyboarding class. Yeah, yeah. And like after that, I've just been thinking and like storyboard all the That's time. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Um, you get um, all the, and you're doing this already. You get those fast sketch skills we've talked about like on Saturday and all that. Mm -hmm. You put that together with what you just talked about with what Brian says. You can go kill that. Yeah. Okay? Storyboarding, this kind of thing. You see how it all overlaps? Because mm -hmm. that's a big deal to me is that overlap thing, okay? That you guys are understanding that, and we've talked about this, it's so broad. Like the career opportunities for you guys are so broad. By the yeah. way, did I, I didn't talk to you guys about it. I put up a, um, and I'll put it up in here. Um, yeah, I'm going to put it up here because it totally makes sense. There's a guy, this guy, I don't know if you guys know who Peter Ellenshaw is. Taylor probably does. Me? Um, yeah. You don't know who he is? Okay, he was one of the like monster Disney old school guys, right? He did all I'm kinds of stuff. I don't know who he is then. <laughs> he, um, you, you do, you probably just don't know his name. You've seen his work for okay. sure. Okay, but um, I found this documentary on him. It's really long. And I, I knew about him and everything ever since I was a kid. But I didn't know mm -hmm. his whole story and everything. I didn't know. I actually, to be honest, I mean, I knew he was crazy talented. I didn't know how crazy talented. So this thing, they go into it and how he started, and he started off as like an apprentice map painter. The guy was insanely talented. And like he would do some of the map paintings, if I remember right from the thing where he would, they, I mean, it's just crazy, you have to watch it. And then like they're showing his paintings, his map paintings and stuff from all these movies and stuff. And it's like, it is absolutely insane what he used to do. Mm -hmm. um, so just watch it. And what's interesting, this is what's interesting to me about it. He had this monster skill set of painting, you know, painting, drawing, and all that stuff. I mean, absolute monster skill set, design. 
he took that and then came out here. Walt basically said, I don't have a job for you. Cause he had worked for Walt in England on whatever. I forgot what it was. And then he came out here and he goes, I figured you have something for him. He goes, I don't have anything. He goes, oh, we'll find something for you. We'll do this. Anyway. So he ended up, you know, starting to work for him. And then he ended up basically, he had the balls in a meeting or something during 20,000 leagues under the sea to go. He didn't say it this way, but it's like, that looks like shit. You know what I mean? You guys need to, do and then I think he did a couple of sketches. Those sketches got into one of the screening rooms or something, and then and then Walt, I don't know how it all you have to watch it. But Walt came in and goes, you know what? He saw the scene. He's like, you need to look at this Peter Ellenshaw guy. He just did some sketches. You need to look at that. And it totally, I think it totally pissed off the art director. And um anyway, from there, then he sort of like one day was just like, You're the visual effects supervisor, that's how it works. And then he took it into all this stuff because he had this basic, this basic or foundational skill set. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's actually what I want you guys to do. I think that's, if we're doing our job right, that's what you guys should be doing, is doing what Naomi just said, where she goes, oh, I'm, she just plugged things together and goes, oh, yeah, if I do the sketchy thing, then I can do this, and man, I can do this, and I can do this, and I can do this, and I can do all this stuff. And then hopefully, you're going to find your spot. You know what I mean? Or what happens a lot is you go into the business, you get, you, you do, this is how I think it should be. When I left college, I go, if, I, if they have me push a broom around, I'll go do it. If that gets me in the door. Okay. But you know, metaphorically, so I, I would have taken anything, any design job. I didn't care. I would just taken anything so I can get in there, show them what I'm good at. And then they're going to go, Hey, you know what? We might be able to use you on this. And you'll kind of, a lot of times they'll find your spot. Go, You're really good at this. You're doing this. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. And Naomi, I've seen you, um, really work hard and it's paying off. Okay. Like your work is for sure going up, man. So just keep doing that. Okay. Cause it's exciting to me. Okay. Yeah. And not only are you putting it together with just the sketchy stuff, you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. You're putting together the sketchy stuff and, and design and storyboard. You're doing all of that. Okay. So keep doing that and let yourself get excited about it. Okay. Yeah. So knock this. I want two, Plussed up pages, okay, on Monday. Okay. Yeah, I want this story nailed down, and I want my panels nailed down. Just thumbnails and bigger. Okay. Okay, then we can start going over and figuring them out, okay? All right, because I think the second file that I uploaded is the, is like a bigger image of like those two pages. This actually, I can tell from these. They're strong. I can, I can read them, okay? Does that make sense? Naomi, can Naomi mm-hmm. hear me? You can hear me, right? Yeah, I can. Oh, so that yeah, it all makes sense though, correct? Yeah. Okay. Why is this? Oh, there it is. Okay. How many people do you hang on? Okay. Let's go. Okay, I don't need this now, I don't think. Who's this? Oh, okay, let's do this one. Who's this? Me. This one? Mm-hmm. This is Taylor? Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, how's it going now? I mean, I think it's good. I think I like... I mean, apart from my sketch that I did the first night, I think having like an open frame for the first panel. So it's just kind of like the hand. So it doesn't have like that, the frame box. I love that. For that oh. one. And then when the, when the cupcake kind of dies, I think having that as an open frame box also. Um, Who, who's so this kinda, person here? Uh, this person. So that's supposed to be me. Okay. I'm really terrible at drawing people. I avoid it at all costs. Don't avoid it. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah so this is like so the story is that my coworkers surprised me at work and Love gave that. me the cupcake and they sing to me but i all have like this other paperwork in my hand from work and the cupcake in another hand and while they're singing to me the cupcake literally like jump like i swear to god like jumps off the plate and falls on the ground and they get a picture of me reacting to the cupcake, like taking its own life. 
Um, and then it just is like funny because it's like the cupcake is like on I the think floor, here, I think this one where they're singing, they're singing to you, right? Yeah. Are you at your desk? No, I'm like standing in the middle of like the Goofy's kitchen backdrop. <laughs> I think I would show these, I would show these guys maybe here. So maybe everybody doing the big, my, I don't know why my pin's lagging. You know, head back, eyes closed. <clears throat> you know, everybody singing, mouth open. This is really annoying. This is going so slow. Can you, you know, everybody pull singing, the... and then maybe you're here. Mike, can you pull the screen over a little bit because it's hidden behind my like view of oh, people. Oh, you can just move that. How about that? Move like That's that. good. Thank you. Is that better? Uh, and, okay, so let me do this again. Uh, everybody. Oh, you're good. I can. I can see it. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna restart Photoshop because this is. I think it's it's lagging for some reason. Hang on. Is it because you're recording this? It's. I think it's because it's converting a meeting recording right now. I uh, think. But I'm gonna. I'm just gonna relaunch it and see if that does it. I don't need to save anything. Taylor. Yeah. You can move the like box with all the screens on it. Mine like locks to the side of the screen. Really? It, oh, is yours on the iPad? No, I'm. I fixed that. It shouldn't crash this week. I lost <laughs> iTunes because of it, but it's fine. <laughs> Weird then. I don't know. Oh well then. It's cool. Did I tell you my own intern just got a job at uh, Apple Music? Uh -huh. mm, I think sad. you told me that. A I'm super stoked about it. So he's working from home right now too. Well, who oh, is I that? I hope everybody's working from home. <laughs> well, not people who have like service jobs or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Essential workers. Yeah. They said even, yeah, we've all heard it, I guess. So this thing is almost safe. I don't know what that is because I just started using the, um, the um, actually, hang on. Let's go. Okay, hey, let's see if this works. Still a little slow, but it's not too bad. Okay, so what I was trying to say is I would turn that around where all the, I could see all the workers with their eyes, open, you know, closed. You need to me instead of the other way. And then you could be here. God, it's so annoying. I can't draw on this. That's so irritating. <laughs> It's a little better. When that thing's done, it's almost done. I think it'll stop doing this. You know, and then you're here holding the cake. But everybody in those big, like, big singing poses. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That way, because so I it's would. From, it's from my perspective instead of their perspective. Yeah, or you could just turn around. You're, you're, you're back to that. You can see the cake you're holding, and then all of yeah. them are around you singing, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. I might even bottom light it. So it's dramatic okay. where everybody's like singing and you put them all together in a crowd. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Yeah. It's um, kind of like, yeah. like um, the Grinch, how it's like lit from the bottom when they Yeah, sing. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, it's a bottom lit thing. I mean, you could try it. It's just dramatic. And, mm -hmm. and what else you could do? You know what I would do? I'd light it. For, I'd have the, it's, it's a cupcake, right? Yeah. And it does, it, it has a candle on it. Yeah. Well, I'd be holding it here, just showing, just be turned enough where I can see the cupcake and the flame. And then I got an excuse to bottom light everybody. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Mm -hmm. Hang on, I'm gonna bring this back over. That thing's almost gone. It's at 99. There it went. So hopefully we'll get back to normal. Here. Hang on. Okay, so these two, why does he throw himself to his death? Uh. I mean, honestly, it's, I, I couldn't tell you why I just like, when I tell the story, that's how I describe it because I had stuff in each hand and like, I, I didn't move at all. And the cupcake literally just like fell off the plate. But I, would, I always, when I tell the story, I always say that it took its own life. I would give him a motivation. Okay. 
like something not funny. I mean, it can uh -huh. be dark. That's fine. Okay. But, you know, the sort of, um, what do you call that? Because he's got like a, a funny look on his face on the left. Like he, uh -huh. he has that kind of angry thing that's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. I want to know why he's jumping. Okay. Like, is he jumping before you get a chance to eat him? And does he look at that as outsmarting you? Does it, you know, whatever. Yeah, that make yeah, sense? Yeah. yeah, totally. Okay, and then Cupcake that's TV. him. The thing on the floor has got to be super dramatic. This is a thumbnail, I get it. But you know what yeah. I mean, right? Design yeah. the hell out of that. Oh, let me tell you. I'm excited about it. Okay, as far as people. <laughs> yeah. Start. Um, Okay, that's better. Start thinking of it from a, and you kind of do this anyway. You're, you, you like to design from what I can tell. Yeah. Okay, you like illustration design. Start putting, yeah, and you already are doing this, but do the same thing, you know, start off with these simple shapes. You know, they can be whatever, you know, just simple shapes. I mean, they can be really simple. Yeah. And you can turn that into a style, right? Yeah. And once you have like that simplicity, mm -hmm. then you go, okay, here's my torso, which is mostly a square, correct? Yeah. Then I go, my cupcake plate is right there. And then what are the, what's that? That's a cylinder. That's a uh, ellipse, right? Yeah. I got my hand here. You know, you can give her more bigger eyes or whatever you want to give her. Mm -hmm. And then what you're basically doing is decorating a cake. Once you have yeah. this stuff worked out, look, and then I'm going to give her a little bit of bell bottoms because I like bell bottoms, even though I, I can't wear them. Look like anyway, so. You know, this sort of yeah. thing. And then, you know, then you can add things onto it, give her a big collar. Now, once you got that, and if this is balanced, mm -hmm. all you got to make sure is that this first part is balanced. That's it, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to give her an ear. I can give her an earring. Um, and I'm going to shorten that up. And then I'm just starting to design it and go, okay, what do I like about it? What do I not like? And then I go, I'm going to do 20 more, whatever. Yeah. Um, you know, and then I got my little, and then like the cupcake, for me anyway, look for the, um, the reference points that are cupcake, mm -hmm. um, which one of them for me is that serrated. Yeah. That idea, you know, that kind of thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have your little flame. So don't avoid drawing people. Just start going, okay, how do I like to draw them? What's going to be my stylistic point of view from that? Yeah. This isn't an entertainment design class. Okay. Yeah. This is more about finding illustration ideas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which you've been doing really well. Okay. okay. And then I can put like a fold there. I could put a fold there. I could put that around there and give her a whatever, either a purse or a messenger bag. Give her the whatever you call it, the tile floor, whatever. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 But think basic shapes, right? Okay. I mean, I'm a mm -hmm. broken record on that, okay? Yeah. But I like the idea, all that's good. Okay, cool. Cupcakes motivation. Sounds like a bad actor. What's my motivation? Hey, you do have to have motivation. Or your characters do. And it is like, I mean, it's staging and everything. When mm -hmm. I just went over to um, Chris Sickle's studio, and it, uh, I'm going to put a video up on it. I, I'm waiting for him to sign the contract. But his studio is amazing because he basically builds all these sets and, and makes like little theater pieces. It's all stop motion, but it's basically theater. You know what I mean? Is that the guy that did the book that you brought in? Yeah. yeah. The one with the, that was all um, sculpted? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's, He's like, amazing. Okay, who's this? Are they, Hi, Are they here? This is mine. Yes. Sorry. Okay, so now... Oh, okay. I remember this one. Okay. This is much better. Uh, you know what? You.
Okay, one thing I like here is I like this. I like that there aren't any panels and that it just does this, oops. Keep forgetting what I mean. It just does this uh, sweep and tells the story that way, almost like a game board. I think that's cool. Thank um, you. Then it goes over here into a panel. I think I'd make these, uh, I don't know that, okay, so like this one probably needs to be paneled off. Oh, found some. I think I might find a better way to stage the um, coming in the door maybe, because she's answering the door, right? Yes. Okay. So I might go, I don't know. Um, I, I start off with the things where I go, what, what do I need to, see and she's bringing something right so maybe it's her here bringing something here's the box or whatever here's her leg and she's standing here you know holding the doorknob and the door's been opened and i see it sort of like that okay yes does that make sense Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, where you kind of stand there with, the, you open the door, um, you know, and you're sort of standing on the inside of it. Right. You know, and that could be, you know, that way I'm seeing clearly what's happening. I'm seeing both people. Right. And she's got this package or whatever it is. Okay. Okay. So that could be up there. You know, however you want to stage it. It doesn't have to be that staging, but, you know, something like that. Yeah, let's see. Okay, there's that. Oh, my question. Yeah. For for my two pages, is it okay if I do it, like, in grayscale? You know, yeah. how, like, in film noir? Do you want, yeah, totally. Do you want to okay. do it uh, digitally? Yeah, I was going to do it digitally. Okay, really, really design the hell out of that. Yeah. Have you looked at a lot of film noir stuff? Um, I mean, I've watched like a couple movies just for inspiration. Okay, also, wait, let me finish this, then I'll go back to that. Yeah. Um, okay, what's happening here? Right here? Uh, so she, yeah, so she left, and then <laughs> I have a, like, realization kind of got shot like oh shoot you know why didn't i think of this you know i kind of have something heavy like i feel like i felt like it's like hitting my head something hit my head <laughs> find a way to say that that's not um we write it in there okay find a visual way to say that that epiphany or whatever that is okay okay um, you can still have this text, but I want to have some sort of, okay, here's the thing. If you have what, uh, if you have text, you kind of have an advantage because you're not, um, the text is telling the story. Okay. So right. you don't have to make it a hundred percent with it's, you know, just the image telling the story. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So take advantage of that because you can kind of jump off the cliff a little bit. You don't have to be super linear. Okay. Okay. All right. Is that the one you want to do? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm good with that. Okay. Start, um, whatever you call it, you know, building it up. Okay. Okay. Naomi. Right. Yes. Let me pull this up real quick. I'm trying to find something here. Of course, I can't find it. Let me try one more thing. Let me 
something. Hang on, man. my phone is playing music. Uh, if I can't find it right now, I'll find it for you later. Look at um, Powerpuff Girls, Samurai Jack. They use a lot of this language, okay? Powerpuff Girls uses a lot of this language where they have the door open, everything's black, just got the light coming in the room. Oh, yeah. And Mojo Jojo standing there casting big shadow. Like they use it all mm -hmm. the time. It's going to kick me out of here at some point, so just so you know. Um, but look at it. There's a lot of, they do, especially Powerpuff Girls. I noticed that when it was on, it was one of the reasons I liked that show is because it was so well designed. Okay. So is Samurai Jack. Um, okay. Let me check another one. Again, it's going to kick me out of here at some point. We'll just jump back on. Who's this? Oops. It's back. This one. Who's this? Me. Uh, okay, so what are we thinking here? Um, I just put two more on the Google Drive. There's ah. another group. <laughs> Sorry. From, okay, here's the rule from now on. These have to be up a half hour before class. Okay? Because yes, I like just having them here and not having to keep stopping because, it's, well, for now, especially because we keep running out of time every 40 minutes, which is really annoying. Okay, so what was the story? I'm going to go look real quick. Okay, well, that one's just uh, my youngest noticing a girl, and I just happened to okay. see it, and I thought it was funny. So what's the name of it? I got one that says Caesar and the Walmart dude. Is that the one I'm looking Yeah, for? that's another one, and then the other one is called Puberty, and that one's about oh, my daughter. Okay. I'm going to download these two. God, it's like pitch black in here. I forgot to turn the light on. Okay, I like this one just from a visual perspective. I love this big car up here. Which one do you like? I like all three. So I'm not sure which one to go with. Okay, so this one is what? What's this one? I was, this was during Christmas time. I went to go like shopping and he, you know how like they have those like Christmas candy canes with like little candies in them? Uh-huh. He liked to grab them and play with them like they're guns. And he was just shooting random people at Walmart with it. And I thought it would be funny if somebody played along. Okay. And then this one, what's that one? That one was, she just asked me some question and I went way too far with my explanation. <laughs> okay, so give me more. I like, I kind of like that idea, but I want more um, dialogue so I know what's going on. Yeah, I was thinking of putting words in, in one think, of like, those. I, wasn't, I didn't do it yet. I wasn't sure what exact if you wanted more words in it or not. This one's too straightforward. I'd go. I'd either go here. I'd probably go here. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, I think that they're, they're super readable. Okay, which I always appreciate. Oops. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me see. And don't anybody um, cut out of here earlier than when I officially say so, because I, I have to get a screenshot of everybody who's here and I can do it in a little um, window. Who's this? Me, mine. I thought you already had an idea. Yeah, because I told you, uh, I'm just going to make another two ideas, so just to have something else. I didn't fix the other one because I didn't have real comments from you, so 
I put I them online. You put something in YouTube. I put comments, I think, on yours online. Online, yeah, I saw yeah. them just like uh, before. But I don't expect time. you to make changes that fast. Don't worry about that. Mm, okay. So I just drew over them. That all made sense, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is about a car. Well, which one? This one? The yeah. crab? Okay, this is the crab that I had used to have in my classroom. And so what happened in this story, is the crab lives in the, in the tank by herself. And she has a lot of, she likes to try a lot of uh, shells that I used to put over there. Um, you know, they like to change the shells. I don't know yeah, if yeah. you know about Um so she was okay doing all that, but then one day another crab came to the place, which was the other teacher's crab. We have a, a long weekend or something, and she didn't have any place to put her hermit crab, so she put it in my tank. So then the other uh, hermit crab arrives, and then she's always following the, the other crab that used to be over there always, but the crab didn't like the closeness of this new hermit crab. So one day when the hermit crab was trying a different shell, the hermit crab, the new one, got the old one shell, and she got into there to live in there. And then was the time to go back to her classroom so the teacher took the hermit crab with my hermit crab shell and leave. So that is a true story in that way. And then in, I put over there that the hermit crab mine was sad at the end and the other one was saying goodbye to her. But in rea the real life what happened is my crab died. I don't know. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. She died because she didn't feel comfortable in none of the shells that I bought. There's a story there. I think you need to elaborate on it. Yeah, it died. But I didn't put that in I wouldn't put it in it died. kind of sad. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't put it in it died. But um, my cupcake can die, the crab can die. Say that? I said, if my cupcake can die, the crab can die. Yeah, but I mean, there's, there's a seed of a story there that's really interesting to me. And it had, it, I mean, obviously it has something to do, I might, like a lot of times these things go sort of off the rails into a whole different area. There's something to me about them switching shells, you know, and, and feels like clothes and there's something there to that. I don't know exactly what it is. I think I might go down that rabbit hole a little bit. Um, uh, I don't know. Maybe somehow they become friends. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I can't think of it off the top of my head. I do think there's a seed of a story there. What's this one? Uh, this is another story that is, uh, well, when I was a child, my father did a hot air balloon with a tissue paper and a can of, like, empty can of food. And he put some something inside. I don't remember because I was young. But I remember I was amazed that they start, the hot girls start making the the balloon. It was a square balloon, actually. It was not a round balloon. What's the square one? A square, square one. So I was looking at them, and, but in the story where I put something else that was not really happening. So in her imagination, the girl is looking at the balloon, and she decides to hang up on the balloon and start in her mind is traveling. You're gonna kick me off in a minute, just so you know. Go ahead. Traveling about uh, on on top of the ocean, and then in the night. She's able to grab a star. But then when she comes back to her real moment, she just say goodbye to the balloon and see the balloon. That one, I think that one's your story. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, but you got to get out of this just one panel, one panel, one panel. Let's start yeah. doing the same thing we're talking about. Does that make sense? Okay. There's yeah, some real charming good. stuff in here. Okay. Yeah. I love this high shot of her looking up at the balloon and going away. I love the image of her grabbing the star. That's great. Like a kid in a balloon or whatever, gondola or whatever, grabbing a star. That's a great image. Okay. So maybe this stuff gets told. I keep, I'm, it's going to dump me off here in a minute. I don't, I'm going to start setting up this real quick, but um, maybe somehow that this image here 
maybe that's somewhere that's your bigger image because that's a really charming image right there. Okay. So maybe okay. that's the one that's not contained. Maybe mm -hmm. that's, a, you know, one whole page over here and the other ones relate to it kind of goes this way and then over to that page and back over somehow. I think okay. that's it. Okay. Who's this? I think we saw this one, right? Um, that's mine. Yeah. Okay. I tried to remember what you said last time. I was, I was really unsure because my internet is being shit. So, um, I try to add some beef, like you said, because like I was thinking about something really simple, like as inconvenience happen, like over and over, and then and then I kind of change the title, like my demons are here and there, and it's like basically something, an inconvenience happening here, there, and then later. The main thing here. I think you got to push the idea a little more so I understand it. Yeah. Um, it was basically me playing a game. Then the, my phone falls on my face. And I go to the mirror and I see a bruise. And then I thought just add something silly to the mirror, like comedic, like a, little, a demon. It feels a little more comic strippy than graphic novel. Does that make sense? Oh, okay. So yeah. It's sort of like boom, 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 payoff, right? The other thing is get these, you know, you're going to have two pages here, right? Yeah. You know, get these where they're not just one, you know, shape, one shape, you know, maybe this one, just like we've been seeing here where there's, you know, variety of shapes, maybe something uncontained here, you know, like uh, Megan's uh, Beatles one with the, uh, the bathtub, you know, with that, and then the little insert, that kind of stuff, okay? Yeah. Okay. Does that all make sense? Yeah. Okay. So just beef it up a little bit. And uh, what I mean by that is what I just said. Just like start paneling it out and just make it more of a, a little more of a coherent story. Okay? Okay. And then I have to I'll go over something with you guys before I get through tonight. Who is, where's Sunny? Oh, here I am. And again, I have to screen cap the um, people here so I can put it into attendance. Why am I not getting? Okay, this one's telling me I can't open it. Uh, is it the JPEG one or is it uh, the? Hang on. Oh no, I see This it. one I can open. And this one I can open. Is that what we have? Yeah, I had another one, but I could just like show you. So, but we could talk about these. Anyway. Okay, so what's this one? Um, well, this one isn't really like a personal story, but I'm like, I'm really into like um, bugs and stuff like that and prey mantises. And I was thinking like, it could be like a prey mantis alien or something. And it like abducts people and makes them prey mantis people. I don't know. <laughs> Not enough of a payoff. Does that make sense? Yeah, I know. It's kind of a uh, You can look at that as the ba basis of a story and then sort of, it's just like the hermit crab one. To me, there's a story there. I don't know what it is. But then I saw the other one. I go, well, this is just charming. I think we should do this. You know what I mean? Right. I like charming stuff. I like probably sentimental stuff. Um, okay, so if you want to do that, then give it some story push, okay? Okay. What's this one? Uh, this one is, um, I was really uh, scared of lakes when I was a kid, and I would just, like, imagine all of, like, the things inside of a lake, because you can't really, like, see beneath, like, the water, mm -hmm. and I thought I would just, like, illustrate, like, everything I was, like, imagining in a lake. I think you could do, okay, you could do that, but I, again, like, you could do that, like, I like this image, it's the kid peeking over. Uh -huh. And I think I'd always have, and I don't know if you're already doing this, I'd always have the adults maybe, you know, sitting here fishing or whatever, right? Yeah. Uh, hang on. But not looking at what she's looking at, okay? Or what you're looking at. And I would have, everything would be, you know, if this is a, a shark, there's this much of it sticking up, you know, her looking, you looking over. 
everybody's looking the other way. And this thing is just this monstrous, you know, it's, it's a kid's version of everything, right? Yeah. Um, you know, maybe these two guys, you know, instead of just being at the bottom, maybe they're, um, it's slowing me down again because it's rendering something again. Okay. Maybe these two more eels are talking to each other on the bottom of the ocean, but they're plotting against you. Yeah. Like they're talking to each mm -hmm. other. Is that what it's saying? No. So maybe they're plotting against you like they're both plotting against you on the bottom of the ocean. That's how you're going to see it. Does that make sense? Yeah. I don't have a problem with that. Give me more of a payoff at the end. Right on. Right? Okay. You know, maybe it's, I don't know what that is. Like when you have that moment, I actually I know so, I don't even I don't know what the payoff is yet either for this one. So one thing that to me about childhood that's interesting is even though this is sort of a negative version of it, children believe in magic. Okay. Yeah. Children believe they're actually the ocean or lakes don't have it, but lakes they believe that there's monsters in the lake. They believe it's part of that magic of being childhood, of, of being a child, right? Mm -hmm. Then there's a point where the bubble gets burst, and yeah, maybe you lose the bad stuff, but you also lose all that cool childhood magic too. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So maybe there's some way of saying that, right? Okay. Maybe. I, I mean, that's just one way. Again, I'm not saying do this. I'm just saying here's an idea. Okay? Okay. But I kind of yeah. like this one. I'd work on this one. Make on the, like, make the ending, like, a little more grand, I guess, or? A payoff. Payoff. Wrap it I all up. I like the, the first one we talked about, but it isn't, you know, it's not. not it's not a story yet. What if I made that first one into a story? Like, you could. Uh, just you because could, I like okay, but if you do that, send it to me more. sooner. If you do huh? that, I don't have a problem with that. If you do it, though, send it to me sooner before Monday. Just a oh. thumbnail, okay? Just or thumbnail. even at this point, I've seen that. Give me uh, just a summary. Yeah. Of, just give um, me a summary of I might do this. Okay? I mean, I just wanted to make them like aliens or something, like kind of like this. Kinda yeah, like this. it's still not a story. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you're, I, what you're doing is, is you're going, I want to draw aliens. Yes. Right? I want to draw all kinds of stuff. And when I got paid for it, a lot of times, I, it wasn't necessary. I mean, I always, I like to draw anything, so I don't really care. But mm -hmm. um, you don't ever let the, well, I shouldn't say don't ever. If it was a personal graphic novel and you, um, you could spin a whole story because, hey, I like drawing cowboys. I mean, people do that stuff all the time but you got to come up with a good compelling story around it. Okay. And hopefully this is recording everything so I can put it up online tomorrow because it's supposed to be. Okay. So there's that. Okay. So let me see. Daniel. Where's Daniel? Is he here? Mm, I'm not sure he is here. His mic's muted. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I'm here. I'm sorry, sorry. I, I was mute. Oh boy, here comes Judgment Day. <laughs> All, All right, right so is, this. What, wait, what is this one again? So, what's the overall story? All right, so apparently this is a stomach and that's the brain. They're apparently arguing with each other to find out if they can go to the bathroom or not. Basically, uh, the guy who's the the guy is literally in the class right now, having a lecture, and he really needs to use the bathroom. But this lecture is very important right now, and he is, and his body is conflicted if he should go to the bathroom or not. Okay, okay, a couple things here. I don't mind that, but you got to explain the story to me, probably with a uh, language, right? Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. I I would do the whole. Th I mean, where is it? I yeah, like. Sorry. I like this guy, okay? Make yeah. these guys as charming as this guy or as cool as this guy, all right? Yeah, the other thing yeah. is the same thing I've been saying to everybody. Don't have the same size panel. You got one guy, one guy, one guy, one guy, one guy, one guy, so on and so forth. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. So, so if you want to buy wait, 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 by Monday, I want dialogue in it and I want the panels just figured out. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay? about that. If if you're wondering uh, why uh, this looks unfinished, it's because uh, the tablet I'm using, uh, it was kind of smaller. I, so I, had... I actually don't have a problem with the level of finish. I just, I'm just talking about design. Level of finish is fine. I can read it all. It's fine. Oh, okay. Thanks, man. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, all right, yeah. hang on. I think I've got... Uh, by the way, I have also one more question. What's that? 
I want to draw the desk, but uh, I want to know if that's the right way to draw the desk. Where's the desk at? Here? At the bottom over there. This one? Yeah, no. Yeah. Well, remember that a desk, a desk, is going to start with this, mm -hmm. if you want to think of it this way. Ah. It's going to start with a simple box shape. Actually, let me start that over. Sorry, the phone's ringing. Okay. Okay, it's going to start with a simple box shape. Mm -hmm. And our phone has a voice. Okay, then this is going to come out over a little bit. Mm -hmm. Another plane that's going to have a little bit of thickness. Uh huh. Ah. And then that, and then you got to give it like legs, give it some trim. Mm hmm. And that's really it. And then on this side, you know, you can give it a drawer. Mm hmm. You know, give yeah. it a um, oh. a lamp. Mm hmm. You know, whatever you want to do. Ah, okay? so it's a so, yeah, so, it's so, a, it's a so. cube. It starts with a cube. It's a square. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just so just jump into it, right? Yeah. All right. Cool. Just but I like the styling it. of it. I like Thanks, the styling man. of it. Thanks. Appreciate that. I'm trying. Oh, there it is. Okay. So this is uh, Jerry, right? Yeah, that's mine. Okay. So this is better. You improved this up here, correct? Yeah. Okay. I like that better. Oh, the only thing I'd think? say is that this panel is looking a lot like this panel. Hmm? So now do the same thing you did. And also, what are the, they're all raising their hand here, right? Yeah. Okay, make sure, because like this kid right here, looks like he's doing the Sig Heil thing. Does that make Wait, sense? Can you um, zoom in just in case? <laughs> Sorry, it's just really <laughs> hard to see right one here. here that oh. Like this guy, this guy, and this guy starting to look like they're doing that sort of Nazi thing. Ah, okay? shoot. We don't want that. You got to watch that kind of stuff, okay? And, and you know, the other thing, you can kind of push their, you, know, you want to push that, that uh, you know, my, you know, put your hand up or whatever. Make, you know, you can put the head here and sort of raise the shoulder a lot. Have the hand sort of splayed uh. out a little bit. Sort of like that, and the other arm down. Okay, then it looks less like that. Okay. Wait. So, um, can you show me again, just in case? I just did right here. Oops. Right there. Head, arm. So basically, shoulder. more. Just raise the shoulder. That's it. Okay. And that'll so help. Just so just don't have the them shoulder. going out this way. Have them raising their hand this way. Okay? Okay. Okay, good. Have I missed anybody? Hmm. Oh. Yeah, well, you didn't do mine yet. Your oh, by the way, Mike, can I ask you something? What? Did you um, think of the way I tried having the characters pop out of the panels? I like things Sorry. breaking. Um, if you're asking me, like, breaking the panel border... Because if I remember correctly, it's considered somewhat of a way to like grab the reader. I like attention. I like things breaking the border. Yes, hmm, that's good. You know. Okay. So yes, I do like that. Was somebody asking me something? Oh, I just said that you didn't do mine yet. Oh, <laughs> but that's the only person I have. That's pretty. That's I pretty just cool. uploaded some edits based on your comments in the video that you did. So if you want to take a look at those. Did you put them up since class started? Yeah. Oh, you guys got to get these things. Okay, so we all know the rule from now on, correct? Yeah. Half hour before yeah, class. Just, the yep. video was only uploaded this afternoon, so I didn't really have a ton of time to do stuff. And then I think I, I thought I got Ryan's. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, Ryan, yours was scan documents, right? Yeah. 
Hang on, I was going to download all these. Sorry, I, I should have renamed it. Here it is. Rachel updated. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's that's right. I remember this. I like this idea because there's a lot of fun visual stuff to do with this. Mm -hmm. Where's yours at, Josh? So for mine, uh, I was actually gonna ask you about that, but um, I'm happy with the layout for it. No, I am too. Um, so I've just been doing some like uh, I've been trying to put together a mood board. Okay, like, I'm good with that. Okay. That's fine. You're, you're moving forward. That's what we talked about last time. I'm fine with that. Cool. Okay, so is the reason this place is cool is because it's all these like crazy vehicles and all that? Yeah, I was thinking that's the reason why it wasn't a problem that the road was crazy and getting up there is because everybody else has off-road vehicles and they're driving up oh. their station wagon. Like that's the payoff in the end is like, oh, we don't have the right kind of car. Oh, okay. I thought it was because like it was some mecca for like motocross or something. Yeah, I mean that's kind of the thing is like, you know, all these like off-road trails because that's how it was in real life. It was supposed to be for off-road vehicles. We just didn't understand that. On this one, what's fun to me about it is like almost every panel is super would be super fun to draw. Mhm. Mm and again, like this one here, this one where they're going up this crazy road. Like I said on the thing, that might be a good place. <laughs> To, um, to to not have it in a panel, mm, you know, mm -hmm. where they're going around the square, you know, because that is a fun image to me of that old idea of the, you know, going up the mountain pass and the cars, you know, tilting way up and going on two wheels and rocks are falling and all that kind of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And then like this one, I was thinking I would do different takes on it. So like this one where it's coming downhill I would find some other um, threat. I don't know if it's bears, I don't know what it is, but something in the forest that's threatening. Because this one, you've already gone up that. Why is this part threatening, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and the big rocks and all that kind of stuff. And then this stuff, you gotta design the hell out of. Totally, but does the payoff make more sense this way? Yeah, I think before you were talking about like it didn't make sense. Does this make enough sense to be able to move forward with it? I think so. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. Does it make enough yeah. sense? It does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure it does. I mean, there's really no problem. Okay. Unless you like have to like um, maybe um, sep make sure the panels aren't like too close. If you know. Oh, yeah, this. that's that, we're not worried about that yet. I might do, I don't know, I might put somebody with hands on hips here or something, maybe speaking to something about the person who's talking. I don't know, I would just try it. I feel mm -hmm. like you should have the panels like overlap instead of being like segmented because it's kind of this like journey. You well, know? one thing so we like talked about, I put it online, was doing that, was breaking these up more. Okay. Right? Um, yeah. And I agree with you. But when it's this, um, when it's at this thumbnail stage, this kind of thing, I like to get that idea and the name and just the flow and what we're saying correct. Mm -hmm. And then yes, um, you know, can we break? I, this one to me is a big key panel. Yeah. Because I think that could be super fun to do. Maybe mm -hmm. that's eating up, you know, more space. Maybe it's not contained. You know, mm -hmm. I, but I actually do like. I don't know how you <laughs> do it. Hang on. I do like this. I love this diagonal right here. And I love this coming down the road like that. 
So, you know, maybe this one, I don't know how this works, but this, that to me is what's fun to figure out. Okay. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you know what you're doing, right? Well, I'll tell you all what you're doing sure. in a minute. Okay. Okay. Who else do I have? Ryan, right? Ryan, you're scan documents, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's right. I remember yours. Okay. What are we saying here? So right, you change it up left. a little bit. Okay. Top left is a frame of like the squirrel and the bear like sitting and waiting for the bus to come. And he's like saying like, uh, it's like, uh, this is the time of the day that all everyone goes home to the forest or whatever. I love um, this shot right here, by the way. Yeah. The one that broke the frame. Yeah. I just uh, love that shot. I love the, the, you know, this vehicle like that. I love these guys lined up and getting, that's a great shot right there. Thank you. I love um, this shot here. Yeah. I love so this with shot that here, I love this shot here. I love this. I like all these. I love this. I love this. These are great. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I, I actually really enjoy like writing like graphic novels and stuff like that. So it's like, this is like a really fun. Okay. I would start. But the, I'm going to read it a little bit more like today or tomorrow, probably tomorrow. Yeah. I just want to make sure that's all working. If that's all working, then I'm just going to send you a, a message and say go and start. Okay. So like that, you could start, you could start going to final. I might just make okay, a couple okay. comments on story, but other than that, I like all this stuff. Yeah. Cause like right? the problem is, is like, there's some of them that are like, when I do it like smaller, it's really hard to do the detail with like a pencil. Okay. And so so like, here's what we're going to do on Monday. I'm going to take maybe this one. I'll take a couple. And then that's what I'm going to do next. I'll probably do it before we're in class. And then we'll talk about it also in class. But I'll take one and start to plus it up and start to show how we start to go to final. Okay. To me, there's always a three. Okay. So we're doing the same process we did before. We're just doing it faster. Okay. So now it's going to be, I'm probably going to take this. I'm just going to blow it up digitally. And uh, if I was doing it um, on paper, I'd probably blow, you know, I'd just blow it up on a copier like we did in class and I start working over it, but I'll do one over one of a couple, one, one or two of them. I don't know, however much I have time for it. Okay. Um, and start going through that process, but I'll do that. I'm, I'm going to try and do that before class on Monday and I'll try and get it up on YouTube. Okay. I'm trying to get caught up on all my stuff right now. Zoom hopefully is recording all this. That's going to actually help me a lot because I won't have to go after this meeting and do a bunch of stuff about what we just talked about because we just did it. Okay. But some of this stuff I am going to do as a tutorial because I might spend an hour on it, which is actually kind of cool because I can't do that in class. Okay. And I can do that and I can put it online and you guys can look at it hopefully before class. And then, um, then we can speak to it in class. What I want to do um, by Monday is whatever we just talked about, do those. But if you, if I've set like Josh, um, Taylor, Ryan, you know, various people, like you guys are ready to start kind of refining a little bit and, and really figuring it out. Yeah. These are pretty there. Okay, Ryan's are pretty there. Um, hang on. Cool. Let me switch my screen. Hopefully they don't kick me out of here again. Mike, on Monday, do you want us to have like a example, like, reference for the style like of color or anything that we're going to do that would be great okay. and that, uh you know what i should put a uh wait a minute I'm trying to open my zoom are you, are you gonna upload kind of like the references that you were going to bring to class this weekend which were the um graphic novel stuff yeah i'm still trying or to find all that stuff why can i not find my zoom thing oh it's over here now cool. or like links to them or something Okay, there we go. Now you guys can see me again, right? <laughs> what? Yeah, uh, I pop up on screen and make starts oh. laughing. Oh, God, yeah. oh my God. Oh, just like the immediate jump to everyone like going really full screen like in oh. my face it was hilarious. I thought it was just me. Um, yeah. Okay, one thing I want to talk about before we go. Um, something, uh, somebody did, okay, so when you teach it online, you get different ideas or you know, when you're switching up your game, you get different ideas. And one of my students in my um, Photoshop class, uh, Photoshop 101 class, she goes, hey, I, you know, I'm an interior designer or whatever. She goes, I want to learn how to take these CAD drawings and do like a really cool rendering, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, that's a super cool idea for this class, right? So it gave me a really cool project that I probably wouldn't have thought of. And it's perfect for my class. 
So I had an idea, obviously, for everything I want to do in this class, but I want to um, do this as a discussion that I'll put up on, what's Naomi looking at her, her screen? <laughs> Is that a game? I'm gonna kill you if that's a game. <laughs> um, Who's playing games? <laughs> um, I want to put a discussion no, up for you guys. Listen, I want to put a discussion up for you guys, and as a group, as a class, I want you to start discussing what project you would like to do next. And if I think it's reasonable and something that's valuable, we'll do that. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I might even break it into yep. two projects. Okay. Where okay. like, you know, one of you group goes, I want to do this. And one of you go, I want to do this. But I got to start seeing what you got. And you guys know what I don't really like doing. So kind of keep that in mind. But I do want to, um, you know, you're going through this one. We're going to be done with this one. Um, and I, I, I think it's an interesting thing to do and I, to get a student's point of view, especially as a group. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to put a discussion thing up. And... Um, and that's where I kind of want to talk about it, okay? Where everybody's just, because I want everybody to be on the same page. I can't everybody send me this individually and then I go, okay, I've got 14 ideas here. I don't know which one we're gonna do, okay? Mm -hmm. And if I don't, if we don't land on a good one, look at Josh, he's got the big dramatic downshot or upshot. You know that? <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, Every now and then people do the weirdest shots. Like I look in and they're like, their camera's way down here, like looking up at me. Um, uh, if we come to something that I think works, then we'll do that. If I don't, then we're going to do what I want to do. So um, does that all make sense? Yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do entertainment design stuff. This isn't an entertainment design class. I want to mm -hmm. do, I mean, I like illustration, okay? And I like all sorts of different types of it. Um, there's something <clears throat> I want to do, and I'll see what you guys come up with. There's something I really want to do, but if you guys come up with a better idea, I'll go with your idea, okay? Okay. And what I want on yeah. Monday is whatever we talked about now, and then any, and then if I've said, hey, you're good to go, refinement. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what we're mm -hmm. doing, correct? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna, mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and sketch, I'm gonna try and put the, I'm trying to put everything now the day right after or the day after. Um, our folder where we're gonna put everything. And by the way, when I put the folder up there, don't go, okay, and half ass it, which you guys haven't been doing and then throw it in there because so it's done. Like, you know, use your time. I just want it in there a half hour before class, that's it, okay? But if you're having a problem along the way, make sure you contact me and we can meet or whatever, however you want to do it. Um, and, uh, and that's about it, okay? Is that good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you guys, thanks, you're doing a good job. You're doing a really good job. And I know this is hard yeah, to do it this way, but you're doing a really good job.